Well, me and Kay are getting ready. I'm going to take her to her job. She just got through getting ready and uh, spraying herself with perfume. But we're getting ready to go and start our day. Right, Kay? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's start our day. You know, people say always listen to your wife and all that stuff, and, and you know, because she knows best or whatever. And that's true. We should all listen to uh, listen to our wives. They can tell us things, man. Always listen to your wife. But your wives ought to listen to you too. It goes two ways because you can tell them things too. But we listen to each other, and we take advice from each other. And like I said before. We think rational on the situation, and whatever makes the most sense, we do. So I just want to put that out there to some of your men. You may have wives that are getting arrogant, and you can't tell me nothing about that. Stuff like that. Well, that's wrong. You can tell them, and they can also tell you too. And so it should work it out like that. Uh, am I right, good guy? Oh, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, she she knows I'm right. It's a two way thing. Okay, you're right. It's okay, a, you're right. It's a two way thing. You want to stop over there, at Starbucks or what? No. Thumbs up. All right. So there's no sense in arguing about no situation. Just talk it over. Your thoughts and my thoughts. Are the same. And 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 we'll we'll, we'll come out with a, 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 some type of rational conclusion to it. We're both thinking people, and we know right from wrong. So that's the way I am, Here we and that's the way are. she is too. So we're gonna go Starbucks. I'm gonna get hot chocolate. She's gonna get her usual coffee. She hooked on that. I'm not so, hooked on it. Then. What? What you not hooked on a, a frap? Mm -hmm. Not a, I stopped or, drinking uh, that. Oak, oak something. What is it? Oak o what? Oak milk. Oak milk something. You know I stopped drinking frap because I don't want it no more. But anyway, we gonna stop there. I love their I love their 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 coffee cakes. There's those are good. I stopped eating the cheese Danish and all that stuff and the cheese toast. There's too much cheese, too much cholesterol. But I like the uh, cinnamon coffee cake. That's good. So anyway, you guys, see you guys later. Whatever venture should come up, I'll share it with you. So you getting ready to go? Yeah. Oh, it's cold outside, baby. My leg is so cold. Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. Oh, God. There you go. Okay, bye. I love you. All right, bye. I love you, too. Wow. All right. Have a good day. And and do a good stuff. job like you always do. Hello, my friends. I just got home from taking uh, Kay to work. Uh, I had a few stops I wanted to make. I took care of that real quick. So I'm home now. And I'd just like to share something with you, brothers. Brothers. Brothers, be kind to your wives and listen to your wives, okay? Listen to them. The reason why I'm saying is they can tell you things. They can tell you things that you don't know. Now, I used to be the type of guy that uh, thought I knew everything. Years ago when I first got married, uh, I tell my wife, yeah, you listen to me. I'm the boss. I'm, you know, I, whatever I say goes. And that was wrong. That was wrong. I've learned over the years to listen to them. They're human and they're your wife. They're your other half, you know? And she could tell you things. Now, me and Kay, we, you know, we got that understanding uh, from the beginning. I told her, you know, I'm listening to you, you listen to me, we both respect each other, views, and we have a disagreement on something, then we'll talk it over, you know? And uh, of course she agreed. 
And if we did get angry or, or upset about certain things, she gets temple. I don't get mad. I'm very easygoing now. I've learned over the years. Very easygoing. But they can tell you things. Now, I'm a lot older than her, a lot wiser than her, you know, but that don't mean I'm smarter than her, you know. She's smart in some ways. She's good in computers and good at uh, uh, computers and things like that. Of course, she went to school for nursing. She knows all those, nurse, uh, the, those medical terms and all that, which I don't know, you know. So she's smart in that respect. I'm just wiser. I've been on this earth longer than she has, you know. So I don't know if that's you guys' case or anything like that, but you have to listen to them. Sometimes she tells me things and uh, that I thought I knew and I was wrong about, and vice versa. I tell her things that she was wrong about, that she thought she knew so much about. And she find out that we get to talking, talking, sharing our views and sharing this and that, that I was right or either I found that she was wrong. So, you know, she's your other half. You're not complete. You're not a whole till you have your, your wife with you. That's what, the way that God made it. You know, now she has her responsibilities and I have my responsibilities as a man. She has her responsibilities as a woman. And I believe if a woman's home, that a woman's responsibility is to keep the house clean, keep uh, things neat and clean, keep, uh, keep, the, keep things going in the house. She watches the house have food ready for her husband, come home, hard day's work, you know. And my responsibility is to get out and make money and try to, to help the household, you know. And that's sort of the old-fashioned way, but uh, I still live by those values, you know, if we could. Now, she works. She works, and I understand that. She's working. So if I'm here, I take on the responsibility that she does, a woman's supposed to do at home, I think, you know, and uh, make the bed, wash the dishes, and all that stuff. I'll do all that. That's no no big deal to me. <laughs> when I was young, my mother had me. When I, I'm the oldest in our family. My mother had me washing dishes every day, so that's nothing to me. But uh, show respect for your woman. Don't 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 ever lose respect for your woman. Treat her right. Give her things. If she wants things, give it to her. She's always wanting to give me things. There's nothing I really want. I, I don't want too much. I don't buy a lot of clothes and nothing. I got clothes that I've had for years that I wear, you know. But she's always telling me, I don't want to get, get something else. I want to see you. And I said, well, if you want to see anything, okay, fine, babe. But I don't need all that. And she don't have much either because I, I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate, I don't like women who wear a lot of makeup because I believe uh, a, a, nat a woman's beauty, her natural self is her. And that's what I love. Not to put all those blue, green, red, and all that stuff on your face, no. And she doesn't do it, she doesn't like it. So that's one good thing, you know. Getting her nails done or something like that, that's okay, you know, women get their nails done or something like that. And a little lip gloss, but you guys know what I'm talking about. All that makeup on her face, and some women, I guess, they just have to wear it. I mean, they, they, you know, I don't know. I, that's up to them. But I like it the way she is naturally. And I tell her that. You, you know. Now, she's a, she's a very good woman. Very good woman. She's got a good heart. She cares for me, and she does for me. And vice versa. I care for her and does for her. And help her family if they need help. That's what we believe in, helping, you know. So uh, you might have heard us argue a little bit on, on one of our blogs or, or say or have a dis strong disagreement, but that's that's no big deal. We don't we don't we're not we don't get mad at each other or nothing like that. She understands me, I understand her. I've been with her for about six years now and uh, we got a thorough understanding. And what main thing I really like about her is that She's a believer. She believes in God deeply like I, I do. And we follow God's guidance to the max. We both want paradise when we leave this earth, you know, which God promises if we follow his guidance and do good in our lives. And we both believe that. So I can't go wrong with that, man, I tell you. 
So we have small disagreements on where we're gonna eat, where we gonna, you know, we'll just buy this and buy that, you know, and uh, that's no, that, that's normal. That's normal. We come to a peaceful agreement, you know, on what we want to do, you know. So right now we have plans uh, still in our lives. And I know she's young and she has a lot of plans she wants to do. She's very ambitious. And that's good. That's good. Me, I'm sort of laid back, laid back type of person. And, you know, but she's my wife and I have to, I have to, uh, you know, go by what her wishes are, you know, too. So it's all about being together, supporting each other, loving each other. Because love, to me, is doing for each other, helping each other, doing for each other. That, that's love for me, you know, not just the old word, I love you, I love you. Of course, we say that time to time. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, sometimes you have to show love. So I thank God blessed me with a good one. With a good one. And I'm very thankful to him that he blessed me with her. And I tell her that all the time, and she tells me that all the time. She tells me that that's, I'm the type of person she's been looking for all her life. She always wanted a dark man, a black man, she tells me, and I believe her. She shows it. And uh, someone that uh, tall, I, I definitely fit that, you know. And, uh, and she got what she asked for, you know. None of it wasn't planned. If you look at my previous videos, you know, I didn't really go to the Philippines looking for no wife or nothing like that at all. I was going there to do a, a, do a uh, class with my friend who's a Filipino who used to be a colonel in the Philippine Army. He lives out here, and he's going to give a class in the Philippines, and he wanted me to come give with him because I was a supervisor here. And uh, but at the same time, I was talking to uh, Kay on the phone. We were just talking. Uh, about each other, especially each other, who never knew it would come to this. But when I went to the Philippines with, uh, with uh, my friend and uh, met her family, she wanted me to meet her family, I met her family, everything, we got to talking, talking, talking. And she got such a wonderful family, all of them are wonderful. And her siblings, oh my God, they're the, they're the best siblings in the world to me. Now. They have siblings that quarrel and laugh and stuff like that. There's no big deal. Uh, they don't fight, nothing like that. But they treat me very nice and I treat them very nice. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful for God for everything. Everything I thank God for. It. Because if, when you sit by, think and sit, sit by and think about your life and think what you've been through in your life, and know there could have been certain outcomes that could have been very devastating in your life, but it wasn't. That's because of God. It just wasn't your time. We all got our time clock when we're going to go. Only, only God knows that. All of us do. Every human being does. So, you know, I, I thank Him every day. When I think about things in the past, wow, I got through that. I got through this. I got through that. And it wasn't but God that brought me through. He gets all the credit. This is his creation. He gets all the credit. So, brothers, I'm just going to say, treat your wives good. Treat them good. And they'll treat you good. Believe me. And I found out, not got, not got. I don't have anything against any other ethnic group or any other black or, or white or whatever group. But she's the one I met. She's the one I met and got to know real good. And I found out that. To me, it may be others, but Filipinos make the best wives. I'm telling you, man. They make the best wives. Her, her, her uh, mother taught her well. She really did. She had a tight grip on her, her kids. Some of them get loose at uh, that live some in certain province areas, and the family, and the mother, the father had to work in the girl's home. She meet a boy and all that stuff. She not, don't know anything about sexual relations, nothing like that. The guy. You know, gets her pregnant and all that stuff, and boom, you know, we have four or five kids and living in poverty. I've seen it. I've seen it. But 
Kay's mother, I mean, she had a tight grip on him. Tight grip, and I thank her for that. I thank God for her for doing that. That's the way a mother's supposed to watch your daughters. You watch them carefully. Phone is ringing. My phone me. I don't know what he brings every time I get on doing a vlog. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. My feelings and how I feel. And I reach out to you guys to to tell me how you feel. Do you, do you agree with me or or I shouldn't feel that way? And, and, and also, I feel that everything I got is equally hers. I have people tell me, oh, man, you better watch out, that girl gonna da 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 It ain't happen. I'm not no dummy, I'll tell you that much. And uh, everything's been going well. So I thank you, God. I thank you for everything. Everything. So anyway, you guys, if you like this, please subscribe, like, and share, and comment. I appreciate it very much. You guys have a great day.